I'm Evan Gambetta, uh, store manager at Channel and Surfboards, and today we are going to teach you how to put a tail pad on. So, step one, find the board. Feel like something fun for the small waves? There's Ultra Joe. It's even got my name on it. Set this over here. Step two, pick out a pad. The only thing you really want to keep in mind with this is whether you like arch or flat. I'm going to go with the flat pad today. New 50-50 pad, Channel Islands, corduroy, mixed groove, best of both worlds. So usually before I do this, I'll sand the back rough it up a little bit. <clears throat> Get all the crap off. After that, you take some of this loose juice here. Sprinkle it on, clear the dust off, get all the grease out. Boom. Take a sip of coffee. And from there, blade. With pad placement, it's pretty much all preference. For me, I like getting it as close to the leash plug as possible powers towards the back of the board, so the further up you go, the slower you're going to turn. I'll generally line up the hex, the top of the hex, with the stringer, pop these little guys out, throw them in later. Boom, so I've got my placement. There's a little point in the back too that you can also line up with the stringer if you're nervous about messing up. Peel off the backing. All these little uh, hexagons help to keep it straight. Perfect, symmetrical, covering the stringer. Now for the sides, same deal. Peel off the backing. I like to split it up a little bit, so I'll connect the back, fan out the sides. Back, Get your spacing's right. Boom. Always want to make sure that all points have adhered to the deck, so just give it a nice firm pat down. These little things are optional, but I like throwing them in, a little extra grip. Boom. Make sure to recycle this stuff and then go surf. Pretty easy. <laughs> 